taken with the 18th pick in the 2008 draft, runner-up in his third season to Dyson Heppel in the NAB Rising Star, Luke Shuey was a star in the making on and off the field from day one. Known around the club for his fiercely competitive nature, if Luke's next 100 games are anything like his first, this interview will be looked back on as Luke Shuey, the four year one of Brownlow. Luke, how are you mate? Good mate. Pretty good Luke, did you like that? Yeah. It's good intro? Yeah, it's good mate. Took you a while to get the rising star thing, what was up with that? Yeah. Oh, well, the first two seasons is pretty good competition, so I thought I'd wait for a bit of a weaker field. You're the first mature age uh, NAB Rising <laughs> star runner up, well done mate. You are, you're a part of the first kick, first goal club. Um, tell us about it, run us through the first goal. Yeah, we'd won the first clearance of the game and Brisbane rebounded and being a first gamer, I didn't, I didn't chase defensively <laughs> and we won the ball back. Actually, I still don't do it 100 games later. But um, we won the ball back and I was standing out the back by myself and Lynch hit me. Shuey's first kick and first goal in AFL footy. You got two dogs, mate. We uh, we noticed that one of them is highly rated in your Instagram do you feed. Have, do you have a favourite dog, Luke? I think you've got a favourite. Yeah, my first one. Oh, my favourite. So what are their names? Marley and Harvey. Harvey, yep. Does that get confusing at home when they both sound yeah. exactly the same? Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah. Um, and why don't you bring Marley anywhere with you? And we seem to see Harvey quite a lot. <laughs> Marley, with, she had a bit of a rough upbringing. Um, <laughs> Didn't you bring her up? <laughs> and so she's, um, she's got a few anger issues. Talking about a few anger issues, you probably share some of those traits with Marley. How many PlayStation controllers have you broken in time at the club? In your presence, I've broken about three. Yeah. Oh, I got a short fuse. Yeah. yeah. Table tennis as well, you've made a fair few dints on the freezer, mate. That <laughs> just... Well, you used to play this stupid style of pong, where you just... <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, Luke Shimmy here. Welcome to uh, my lad pad. You've had a few housemates. Myself, obviously, Kobe, Brad Ebert, Murray Newman, uh, Kobe's dog. Which one, <laughs> <laughs> which one ranks as the best and Kobe's what? Dog. <laughs> Another thing you, you've entertained us with over the time is your uh, your dress sense. You sort of dress. <laughs> Ebo took me under his wing, boys. You yeah. sort of dress a little bit like a traffic light sometimes. Um, <laughs> any ideas on where, where the next hundred games is going to lead your fashion sense? Yeah, you know, I'd like to think that when I leave this club, the young guys are going to be going, you know, what would Shuey wear in the morning <laughs> and try and replicate what I would have worn in my day. I like that. Yeah. Good answer. Uh, uh, last question. Um, you're a big fan of all sports, American, NBA, NFL. Um, do you model your game a little bit on some NFL running backs? Look, I would have thought if my AFL career was cut short, I could make the transition to American football. So right here, right now, you're saying if you got finished tomorrow, you could fly to America and you'd be the next running back in the NFL. Jared Haymark. Running back, quarterback, oh, cornerback, yeah. you name know it, mate. You just named them and don't have to. Well done. <laughs> Scott, do you want to sign us off, mate? Yeah, mate. You've played, Are there uh, any football questions? Or no, that's it, mate. We're done.